Hello everyone, welcome back to All the Mods 8. So last episode we set this up, we set the pure crystals up and oh flipping heck, I forgot to <laughs> change my my settings. This doesn't uh go up to my GUI scale, the highest GUI scale when uh when you first log in. So every time I've logged in so far, I've had to go in, go to video settings, bump my GUI scale back up. It's fine. I'm sure there's a, a a fix for that as well. I think I did read that there was a fix for that, but ah, it's okay. Right. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to lob these in, and they're going to drain out all of the stuff. Um, I put a hopper on here. This has got now it's got seven, including that one, and I've just got a pipe underneath that goes over to this drawer. So because it's a draw and the only thing that can go in there is pure crystals, only the pure crystals will go out into this. So that's kind of all we need to do. Uh, we do need to make 19 of each of the, uh, what are they called? Uh, you know, the miniature stuff, the miniature uh, end portal, so on and so on. So uh, I think that's kind of elemental craft done. I don't know about you, but there's way more you could look into for elemental craft. And uh, I kind of want to move on a little bit. And the thing that I want to move on to, right now at least, is we are going to visit Death's office over and over and over until we get one of those humanoid flesh. Because apparently I didn't give it enough of a try the first time. And we're not going to do it up here. We are going to do it probably in here. Yeah, let me get another chest. We'll set one of those up. Just uh, uh, let's make it a, a nice chest. There we go. One of those. We lob all of these in. Take everything off. And there we go. Right, now everything has like gone in the chest and this is our spawn point i was thinking the best way to do it is we set up a mob masher like there give it a redstone signal and then we just walk into it i think that's probably the best idea never mind does it not does it not do damage to you anymore is that a thing Oh, okay. Well, I've just made a mob masher for no reason. Brilliant. Let's grab this out. I was convinced that it did damage to you for some reason. I swear in previous packs I've died to the mob masher. I, it, yeah, in other packs I've definitely died uh, to the mob masher. Uh, this is very strange. Okay, we'll have to come up with another way of killing ourselves. Um... Um, what are we going to do? Is blood magic in this? Ah, blood. It's not in this. That's that's good, because I don't really like blood magic. Evil. No, wait. Mahal. At Mahal Sukai. Does this thing do, like, lots of damage to you? Oh, okay. It doesn't do, like... Deadly damage to you. That's good to know. Um, okay. It might be a, a jetpacky thing like we did previously. So let's get the jetpack out. Uh, yeah, actually, we can just stick it on our back like that. And then we can just turn the jetpack on. And we'll just have to go in and out. Let's go a bit higher, just in case. Respawn. Oh yeah, you get like chain death. Brilliant. What do we get from that? A bit of grave dust. Okay, I'm gonna put that away. Let's put this this orb away as well, just just so then it doesn't show up. Respawn. Thrilling content for you guys. Oh yeah, I'm still a ghost. Doesn't look like I'm getting it, does it? But 
Tis fine. Am I still a ghost? Yeah. How have I still got night vision? Does it give you night vision every time you die? Wow. That's a lot of um, beams that I've got right there. Still not getting this um this rotten or the humanoid flesh, am I? Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing by the way, is I'm trying to go for the humanoid flesh. Uh it's a very low chance by the looks of it of getting the flesh. Okay, I'm gonna probably cut and then if I do get it, I'll be back. Of course. It's because I cut. I cut and then I instantly got the humanoid flesh. Excellent. Oh, and it also put that in my curio slot. I didn't realise that. That's pretty decent. Sweet. Well, we got this now. So, can we... Do one of those? There you go. I wonder if this gets used up as well. Uh, we'll probably have to... We'll find that one out. So, uh, it doesn't view it either. That's fine. Let's make ourselves a fire right ingot. And... Then it's probably time to do Twilight Forest. I've done Twilight Forest so many times recently, but it's fine. We'll just smash through it. In fact, I might save that one for the next episode, and maybe we look at uh, doing the soul engulfing this thing. Maybe we try and do this. Again, I'm not going to automate this, because... We only need 19 of these, and then the B will be automated, and then we don't have to think about it. So I think, yeah, I'm only going to make 19 of these. Although saying that, I'm not sure I have enough diamonds. Uh, but we can find that out. So, oh, I haven't got anything on me. Brilliant. Let me uh, re-equip everything, and then back in a sec. Right, there we go. Got everything back on. Uh, I keep forgetting that you can't use these as elevators anymore. Uh, I'm going to complain about that every episode, by the way, until it's fixed. Hello? Are you okay? Um, <laughs> he's having a bit of a, a bit of a tough time, isn't he? Oh yeah, I've got this on now. There we go, we can fly again. Let's not break... I'll leave it. Screw it. Just have to ignore this for now. Uh, actually, I do need to turn it back on. Because we do need those... Uh, those sugar canes for everything to keep running. Right, anyway, so... This has made us eight. I forgot I did this at the start of the episode. Why are you not pulling out of here? Oh, because fire, apparently. Ah, 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 I, I know why. It's because... I need to make these things, the uh, improved element extractors. So that looks like it's, it's a job for a recipe. That's uh, not the right one, that one there. Let's get the recipe going. I think all of these are full up now, which means I have to use my emergency ones down here. Element extractor. Ah, and I also need to put these in. I swear it said it was doing it. Am I wrong? Crafter is locked. Ah, okay. So that's because it, it's having to make the... Uh, where is it? Over here. Yeah, it's making these right here. But this one's drained. Excellent. Right. Yeah, like that. There you go. That's perfect. Did I set all of these to be drained? No. Okay, cool. That is slowly getting us more. There we go. All of them have now got the improved element extractors. So, uh, but fire is the one that I need to make this fire right ingot. I just want to check it off the list. Uh, it's one of those that's like, you know, once it's done, it's done in it. So. Uh, oh, sweet. Ah, cool. So it can fill up with all the rest of the... Uh, let, let's get rid of these for now. Uh, I will get a... 
Let's get just a random chest again. And we'll plonk this down like here. Sweet, so that's that's draining all of the, the fire that it's getting. Uh Screw it. Let's just give it like a ton. That should be a lot of fire going through. Okay, that one's done now. But we need the fire because uh, that's what we're going to use. Pure crystal? No. It's called a pure crystal. Did I just not pick it up? Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. So, fire right ingot is netherite first, then swift, then springaline, then pure. And that needs to go in here, so... Uh, let's get that all set up on my inventory. Swift, spring a lean. So one, two, three, and four. And it might have enough right there to make us one, because it's doing the particles. So that kind of means that it's got enough. Maybe. Maybe. You going to do it? I don't want to cut, because last time I cut, I instantly got the thing that I was uh, trying to get, right? So, um, it's getting there. It does feel like it needs a lot. Might not be enough. Let's do another 64 on this, because I'm not using our time for anything else, are we? Uh, whilst this does this, let's, let's do a bit of theory crafting on... Uh, what we need for the Twilight Forest portal. So, fiery ingots, you can make that with the fiery blood. Never mind. Oh, I just saw it change. Sweet, we got the uh, fire right ingot. Brilliant. There's no uh, recipe for this, is there? Can you make that? No. What's this used for other than. Uh, breeder pedestal? Wait, element source breeder pedestal. Interesting. Ah, the pure element holder. I think this is what you use to move the uh, the source, you know, little bubbles, the little ball things that you've got. You use that to remove the, well, move them from one place to another. I did that in my previous series, but I did it one by one instead of using the pure one. Uh, what else is this used for? So, optimized shrine upgrade. That sounds pretty good. Limit to two. Okay. Major runes. So, war staff. That looks awesome. Increases range of spells. Interesting. And then the last one is the element source breeder again, but it looks like a bigger version. Should probably look those up. Anyway, that's that's that one done at least. We can check that off the list. Done. Uh, the last thing we need to do is the miniature black hole. So yeah, so the fiery ingots, we can make a seed for it. So we just need four fiery ingots. That's easy enough. Night metal, again, we can make a seed for it. So that's what we'll do. Definitely make a seed for this. Unless there's a bee. I don't think there is a bee, you know. Uh, it should say around here. No, looks like, yeah, we get some... Night metal essence or whatever it is. Steel leaf doesn't have. It does. Never mind. <laughs> so we can make a seed from that as well. That's pretty good. Oh, carmonite, please. Please say there's carmonite essence. No, but there's there's the ergast which drops it. How do I make this? Tower wood borer. I wonder if I can make a spawner out of these. And then... Yeah, that might be a thing. If we make a spawner out of these... Because I know the Urgas are a right pain in the bum to, like, kill. Maybe they're not. I could set up a bunch of mob crushers. That could be the way to do it. Also, what are these fiery tears used for? Ah. So that's another way of getting... Yeah. Okay, that's the main Urgast, though, so. Carminite. I feel like these things, the little silverfish-looking dudes. Tower wood. They do have a spawn egg. That's interesting. 
Because if they've got a spawn egg, then that means we might be able to... Ooh, okay. If we get some transformation powder, we can make a silverfish into a tower wood borer. We can get an egg from it using the um, swab from mob grinding utils. How do we get this transformation powder, though? And let because it, it's got the arrow both ways, so like this one here is a hedge spider, so we should be able to use the transformation powder on a hedge spider to get a spider, and we should be able to use the transformation powder on a bat to get a raven. Ah, uh, that's pretty decent. That's that's one way of getting like vanilla mobs if you're in the twilight forest. Wolf turns into a hostile wolf. Flipping neck. A Vex turns into a Twilight Wraith. Ooh. I wonder if the Carmenite Ghast Guard drops Carmenite. I don't think it does. Sounds like it should, but... You can make a penguin! <laughs> no way! Oh, I might have to make a couple of penguins. Um, skeletal Druid, Wild Boar. Okay, that's all of them. Anyway... We should try and find some of this transformation powder then. It doesn't have a recipe, so it's not like you can make it. But I don't think it's that bad to make. That's just... Weird. Why are you doing this? Silly. Right, so first thing we need to do is get some water. So let's get two thingies of water. And we need some... Poppies. Okay, not poppies. Let's go for tulip. Now oh, this. Right, so we've got the portal to the nether right over here. I'm thinking maybe down here. This is a nice little area. Uh, my previous series, I made this a 3x3. Three and a lot of people were like, I didn't know you can make it a 3x3. Three three. Oh, I also need a diamond. Diamond. I know I said I wasn't going to do this this episode, but I feel like I should now. So, all you do to get to the Twilight Forest, everybody probably knows this by now, is you lob in a diamond. And it makes a little portal, and you jump in the portal. And you go to the Twilight Forest. And it lobs a bunch of stuff at you to begin with. Because that's where we are at. These things are cool. Oh wait, no, these are the, the annoying ones. It's the, the ones with lights in them. Yeah, the Firefly Jars. These are really, really cool. Cicada ones, not so much. Because they make a lot of noise. And you know what I feel like about noise. Uh, so, the first thing is, it looks like we've already found, oh, actually, no, the first thing we do is, if we run over to here, create a waypoint, and we call that one portal. Portal. Excellent. Uh, can I edit that? Yeah, okay. It never gets my first key press whenever I try and put one of those down. Anyway, we can change our boost speed. I need to change the button, the keybind, for my boost speed. Ah, oh, this should be really easy with uh, the Morgan being, you know, an absolute beast. Uh, Insta kill. Brilliant. And right in the middle is all of these. These are actually, we don't even need this, do we? Or do we to get into, uh, I think we do need to kill the, the Naga to get into the other thingy. Where was it? I saw it over here somewhere. Or is it over this way? That way. Yeah, there we go. So it's over in this direction. Really need to change that keybind. 
There we go. Are we allowed in here now? I think we are. And I'm going to do a little cheat. And that is... There we go. We're in now. Uh, so what you do is you rebound the uh, the thingy back at him. I just skip the entire flipping place. This is really not good. <laughs> good idea. I died to this in one of my previous series. It was that explosion. Which, which one is he? Is he outside? What are you doing out there, you silly sod? Ah, there we go. That was a easier fight as well. Let's grab that. Uh, I always forget where to go next. So, if you look in achievements and go, oh my god, look at all the achievements. That's awesome. Uh, where's the Twilight Forest? I swear it's got one. Colony Lee Militer. Uh... Sorry, I'm getting distracted now. Cryptopia, Young's Better Dungeons. Oh, the biomes. Okay, where the heck is the Twilight Forest? It's definitely got one in here somewhere. I'm 100% missing where I'm... Where it's supposed to be. Mine colonies, yeah. I might make it a um, a task for myself to complete the mine colony. Like, get all of the achievements done. That's that's it completed. Uh, poke, nope. Am I blind? I think I am. Let's click on this and it should. You don't seem to... Okay. So it's got rid of all the achievements, which is a bit of a pain. But let's try and do this from memory. I think the next one... Do we have to go to the hills? I think we do. Also, we should try and find a raven. Which means I'm going to have to use my map. So that's not... I <laughs> haven't looked at my stats in a while. Um, so if we go to controls, keybinds... Uh, J. Uh, where is leg switch? Let's change that to not that one, that one, no, that one, no, that one, that one. Yeah, there we go. So now I can open this up without changing how fast I'm going. So over there looks like what I'm looking for. Yeah, this thing over here. So there should be a raven, and that gave us the feather that we need. Need to make one of these, which means we need some torch berries. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. Uh, so I'm kind of looking for a little... Uh, maybe there's some torch berries in, in this. Also, there's another raven there. There's two... Oh wow, I've got six out of that. It's pretty decent. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a little... Ah, there we go. Over there. A little gap in the ground. Because it might have torch berries in it. Doesn't help that I've got night vision. Aha, there you go. Torch berries. And then you use these with some paper. I'm going to make two because uh, we might go outside of this. I'll stick one in the system for now. And then maybe we fly over to our... Actually, let's just do it here. Oh, that one. Yeah, let's just do it here. There we go. So which way is this point in? I think we need to go this way, and then it will... Oh, yeah, there we go. I'll show up now. So, what is this? Is this a snowy area? It is a snowy area. We can't go there yet. 
but there is a hedge maze right there. I don't think you can do much in the hedge mazes. mazes. Um, what else have we got on here? So there's the snow queen thing, which by the way, you can get a spawn egg for, I believe. Snow queen spawn egg. Yeah, there you go. No, it's a snow owl. Snow Queen, there it is. So you can use uh, this spawn egg. And we are going to do that. We're going to make a spawner for the Snow Queen because that just makes it way easier. There's another Naga right there. There's another one of the thingies. Oh, yeah. We need to go for each one of these, uh, these things here, these little hills. You need to kill the thing that's in these hills. Okay, that will all get smarted up. That's pretty good. Aha! Steel leaf. That's what we're looking for. Oh, poop. I just put the map away. Uh, how do we get in? There we go. So there should be something that spawns in here. Uh, aha. Uh -huh. Sweet. I think that's the one that I needed, right? The only thing is, it doesn't show the, uh, yeah, you know, it's because there's, there's no... Oh, there's a spawner there. Zombie spawner. Oh, my sounds just went really weird. Just mining around just in case. In uh, all the mods 7 to the skies, this is where you got all the modium, wasn't it? So everyone kind of knows these already if you've been playing along. Or if you've been playing all the mods for a while. Okay, that one seems to be done. How do I get out of here? There it is. Uh, there's also an achievement in... Um, the Twilight Forest to eat one of every like thing in the Twilight Forest. So we might go for that at some point. I don't think we'll do it now though. So I think that one was a small that we were just in. And the one over in this direction is a large. What did I hit? Brilliant. So this one here is a large and you can see it's a lot bigger. Does that make sense, doesn't it? Mine my way in. Don't mine me. Just kill everything. Why not? Gallons of blood. Oh, sweet. Now, we can use this. Oh, never mind. Uh, I thought we could use the scrapper or whatever it's called from, or the salvager from. Uh, Silent gear. Iron wood chest plate. Nice. Let's lob all this away. I thought that would be a way of doing it, because then we could get the night stuff from that. And the only thing we would need after that is um the Carmonite. More steel leaf. I swear there's a little boss in here that we have to kill. Is that him? No, but there's a forgotten helmet. Oh, I think that was it. The one I just killed there. Also, did we get any of that transformation powder? I still think it's like quite a good idea to get some of that stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. A couple of chests. Ah, another one over there. Always go for all the chests, just in case you get... What the heck is that? Moon Worm Queen. Huh.
Oh, that's pretty funny. Is this glowing as well? <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, okay, anyway. I think this this is this one done. We just need to do the other ones now, so I need to get out of here again. Okay, and we're out. I remembered where you go, which is you need to go into one of these thingamabobs right here. This is in the swamp biome. So you look for the hydra and then you just like find one of these. And this is all you do. You kill these dudes. And you try and find the boss. Actually, find your way down first, and then you try and find the boss. Do you know what's really unfair with this? Uh, it's a maze, right? And I'm looking and I'm like, oh, how do I get past this thing? Travel staff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, found him. Hello. And he's dead. Uh, that was very anticlimactic. So, uh, one thing I do remember... Uh, I just teleported into here, by the way. <laughs> That's why... I was uh, this side of this wall when I teleported in. Um, but one thing that I remember from all the mod 7 is you must eat one of these Meef stroganoff things. So make sure you remember to do that. Otherwise it can't unlock the thing for you. The, uh, what do you want to call it thing? The Hydra. Hydra boss is still a bit knackered at that point. So now we can lob all of these away and... Oh, cool. I can get up here like this. Eh. There we go. And we're out. <laughs> right, where is the Hydra boss? That's the wrong one. This one. It's just over here. And he's right in the middle. And we should be able to attack him. Hello. Looks like there's a damage cap on this dude. Oh, never mind. Just got a headshot him. That was easy enough. Got the Hydra Chop. Got some fire blood, fiery blood. Uh, and then I think the next one after that is in the Dark Forest. And we need to kill some night... Is it the night dudes? The phantoms. So fiery blood we can use that with... Yeah, let's do that. Well, we just blitzed through most of Twilight Forest. We got like a lot of the stuff done. Unfortunately, you can't see the achievements, but that's fine. Um, and I think there's too much to do in this one episode. So we are going to split this into a second episode. And uh, we'll come back next time and finish off. Eh, get away from that fire. Flipping neck. Yeah, we're going to finish off the... Uh, what is it? The Knights and the Urghast. Although we might not need to do the Urghast, thinking about it, because we've got the Transformation Powder now, which, yeah, that's just so useful. If we can do that, that is. Uh, we'll have to do a bit of testing, maybe. But yeah, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I did not plan that, by the way, but nice. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.